Good day, YouTube. 1MJ here, and welcome back. Right, happy New Year to everybody uh, in those parts of the world where it still is, uh, where it is New Year's Day. Other parts of the world, obviously, New Year's Eve. And look, today I thought I'd start uh, off the year by looking at all the projects. Well, not all of them, only half of them. I could only fit half of them on the screen, really. But have a look at the projects uh, I like and sort of see where they're at and trying to, you know, gauge whether. You know they're a good buy or anything at the moment now again i've always started got to start off every video by saying look none of this is financial advice i'm absolutely not a financial advisor i'm just showing you what i see on the charts and whether i think uh, it's a good time to buy and things like that but anyway let's have a look at the market first of all 2.27 trillion so we're at 2.26 trillion so we've moved up ever so slightly it's not showing there we go uh, 0.1 of a percent Bitcoin dominance still just hovering around that kind of 40-39% range. There was a bit of volume there, but again, we see the volume come in and then we see the volume disappear and come in and the market is generally trending downwards. So that's what we need to remember and we'll get onto that very shortly. All right, Bitcoin price now under 47,000, 46, uh, 46,800. It has been, you know, kind of holding the 46-ish range fairly well so now we're just going to wait and see is this the true bottom and are we going to spring or is this uh, going to be sort of a failed test and gas price is coming down ever so slightly they were up around $11 to $8 and now they're back down to 6 but they were 3 only a couple of days ago all right considering the market's kind of not doing too much traveling sideways up you know 0 0.01 sorry 0 0.1 of a percent What's performed well in the last 24 hours? Because there still are outliers. I mean, there we go, Safe Moon. I've got no idea what's happening there. That has managed to pump 35%. Convex Finance, 24%. Uh, Yearn Finance. So as I have said, I believe if DeFi starts to do well, that could be an indication of a slowing down in the market. Not necessarily a bear market, just a slowing down. The, the heat's ran out of all the gains coming from simply buying projects and watching them go up. That money's disappeared. Now they're starting to trying to find yield in other places. So I think DeFi might do well, and that will, again, be an indication of the market is sort of oversold. Could be completely wrong. That's just a thesis of mine. We'll have to wait and see, but we can see a couple of DeFi projects there seeming to do well. Look, some nice sort of single digit and even a couple of nice double digit moves. Uh, so that's very nice. But again, you know, we look at this in 24 hours time and unfortunately they generally come down ever so slightly. So we're really waiting to see, you know, what's going to happen. Have we truly found a bottom or have we simply bounced off at a few, bounced off a point a few times and now we're going to sink lower? I mean, that really is kind of the big question. And as I've said, it seems like, you know, the theory is at the moment that retail's not really here. It's not to say that there's none, but there's no kind of retail FOMO, and it's mainly just big players jockeying around at the moment. Hence why I'm not making too many moves uh, at the moment. I'm really, as I've said before, focusing on Bitcoin. Excuse me, and a little bit of Ethereum. All right, so we've seen what's done well. What hasn't done well in the last 24 hours? Uh, Olympus Dow continues to come down, so it had a good pump. Sushi uh, on its way down, but look, their single digit losses. Gala continues to come down. Zcash, Uniswap, you know, had a bit of a pump about it sort of merging onto, not merging, but going onto the Polygon chain, so that had given it a little bit of a move, but now it's starting to slowly sell off. But look, the losses are quite small, and I mean, ADA, $1.33 from you know, getting up to nearly sort of $3. So it's had a 50% discount. Uh, can keep that in mind. Aave down a little bit. Uh, again, this was down at like $160 or something. Made it up to sort of 300 and now retracing a little bit as well. So look, the losses, not too bad. The gains, nothing really sort of spectacular. Well, that's not true. We can see that 35% <laughs> is quite some move. But I haven't heard anything good about Safe Moon, so for me, I'm just not touching it. And Convex Finance, uh, again, it's one of the newer DeFi players. I'm just very hesitant with the newer DeFi players. They just they need to have some time uh, in the space for me to get sort of overly bullish about them and want to want to put money into them because there's been a lot of rug pulls and hacks and all sorts of things happening. But anyway, that's that. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Here's this falling wedge. And again, we can see 
that Bitcoin, it's actually, it's right in this wedge at the moment and now it's using this downwards trending line uh, as resistance. So, and we are right at the bottom of this kind of sort of channel here that we'd, you know, we'd looked at and you can move this, you know, down ever so slightly, but really it looks like we're about to break from this and there's not really a lot until we sort of get down to here. So around 42,000. So I'm not going to be surprised if we don't see Bitcoin down at $42,000 in the next few days. Now, it doesn't mean it can't sort of just bounce around here for a while, but I would say eventually, really, it's more than likely, particularly once it, you know, if it breaks here, kind of the 45,000, let's just say $500, it's, you know, a little bit more, but the 40,000, $45,500 level, once it goes below that and not just a wick, like we have sort of a candle close, I think it'll pretty uh, quickly make its way down to here. So that's what I'm, yeah, looking at happening. And as I said, this is sort of playing out at the moment. Again, not exactly. And now maybe we've got to come down to here. And then again, maybe we go down to there. We'll have to wait and see. But that's what I'm looking at on Bitcoin at the moment. And I think it could definitely go lower. All right, let's have a look. What about Ethereum? Where's Ethereum at? So Ethereum has done something s sort of similar, not exactly the same, but look where it is. Here's an old point of resistance, and it's used it as support, but we're just not sure, like it's already broken down from this wedge. Uh, it was a fake out, so we got to the upside and I was like, yep, and now it's come down and bounced off here. And it seems to be holding fairly well at 3,700 uh, sort of dollars, but yeah, there's nothing overly bullish in the market. And if Bitcoin's about to fall, Ethereum will most likely follow. It's just who's going to fall more. Uh, I think the chances are Ethereum will probably fall a little bit more. But I really do think Ethereum is now, it's not an altcoin anymore. It is starting to act like its own sort of coin. That, But that doesn't mean, again, Bitcoin can't follow Ethereum, if Ethereum pumps, Bitcoin pumps and vice versa, and then on the dump side as well. So Bitcoin still leads the market, but I don't think it's the only leader. I think now you can say Ethereum is a leader in the market as well. But if Bitcoin has a bit of a surge down to 42,000, I think you can expect to see Ethereum find its way down to around about sort of, <coughs> excuse me, $3,350, thereabouts, not exactly. And then again, if Bitcoin goes down even further to, you know, the 30s, then I think you're going to see, yeah, unfortunately, Ethereum come down into this kind of $2,600 range. Now, unfortunately, if you've bought up here, fortunately, if you're looking to buy some more. So, you know, what's not good for some people is going to be good for other people. And again, there's always money to be made. So if you're into shorting and longing, there's some things you can look at. I don't do that and I don't recommend it. But also, if you just like to buy things at a discount, well, I'd much rather be buying Ethereum at $2,600 than at $3,700. Now, it may take a full year for it to go back up, as we know about the market cycles, but it looks like they've already changed. But eventually, chances are it will go back up, and I would, again, rather own it at $2,600 than $3,700. Because when it starts to go up, the gains will start to multiply if you've been... Um, you know, dollar cost averaging in on the way down. And then likewise, when things start to get real bubbly, start to take some profits. But again, never financial advice, just my personal opinion. All right, how's ETH going against BTC though? Because we can see how it's going against the dollar. All right, so here's where things get a bit tricky. If Bitcoin's going to get on a bit of a run and based on previous history, it's likely Ethereum's going to come down. But like I said, I just feel like Ethereum is now becoming its own sort of thing. And if Bitcoin runs, I don't think Ethereum will not sort of follow suit. And vice versa, uh, if Ethereum runs, I don't think that Bitcoin won't follow suit. I think they'll be quite similar. How that's going to play out on in terms of how long it's going to last, I don't know. But currently, if we move across, Ethereum is quite high against Bitcoin. So on the dollar chart, Ethereum doesn't look so bad against Bitcoin. It seems quite high against Bitcoin. But there's no guarantees that Ethereum is ever going to come back down to these levels, particularly if Ethereum 2.0 rolls out and, you know, everything's sort of working, you know, at least no major issues. There's probably, you know, going to be one or two hiccups here and there. I just don't know if 
Ethereum will ever come back down to this level again on Bitcoin. It may be now that this is more sort of the floor, or maybe this becomes the floor of uh, Ethereum to Bitcoin. We'll have to wait and see. All right, Ada, let's have a look. Very, very interesting. It gets in channels and travels sideways for a while. I mean, you can go to here. We can say, look at that. Travel sideways for a while, breaks out. Travel sideways, and now we have a breakout. But really, it's this actually, it's not a breakout because I just simply got to move this across to here. Now we're sort of waiting to see. It can break to the downside, absolutely. We could go into a bear market, but it just seems to be ranging, traveling sideways at the moment. So on the dollar terms, I mean, considering that it was all the way up here at basically three dollars and five cents, and you can now get it for a dollar thirty on the dollar value, that is sounding pretty good. But never financial advice. You do you. But I like the the dollar terms. But we can't just base it off the dollar. How's it going against Ethereum? All right, ADA against Ethereum is now down in my interest zone. This is where I'm interested in buying it compared to Ethereum. It's still just hovering around here, and it could definitely come down lower. Now, again, that doesn't mean ADA has to lose its dollar value. Ethereum and Bitcoin could get on a run. And so they start to do really well and they will slowly drag other coins up on the dollar value. But obviously these coins will then start to drop down against Ethereum and Bitcoin. So that's what I'm looking for. This is where I'm interested in ADA at the moment. Uh, but I will wait to see if it definitely starts to get down to here. Then that's when I'll be even more interested. And again, that's not talking about its dollar value. That's just where it is against Ethereum. Because at the moment, the risk is down here. We can come down to here, and it doesn't have to come all the way down to here. Maybe it just sort of comes down to here. So there is a little bit of risk here, but what's the upside? Here, and what about if it gets it to a new all-time high against Ethereum? So the risk is still there. There's always risk. Everything's risky, but the upside is starting to look better at the moment. As opposed to buying A to here, the upside is, yeah, maybe we get up to there. But again, we didn't quite get there, and now it's come all the way down. So here... There's still some risk, but there's still a fair bit of upside as well. So just something to keep a look at. And again, this is where I would have started to get a bit bearish on it. It's like, all right, it's broken the trend. Now it's coming down. That would have been a good place to take some profits. But again, just because it breaks the trend doesn't mean it can't be a fake out to the downside. And then all of a sudden it runs up. There's no guarantees in life. There's nothing that's certain. And TA certainly isn't any kind of certainty. I like to tell everyone, I like TA and I use TA. But it's only good until it's not. It is not. You can't just look at TA and think, all right, I know exactly what's going to happen now. You're still taking a guess. Hopefully an educated guess, but a guess nonetheless. All right, what about ADA against Bitcoin? So again, ADA against Bitcoin is still quite high. So dollar terms, I think it's in an accumulation phase. BTC terms and Ethereum terms, I think it's quite high. And if history plays out, I think the chances are that they probably get on a run unless, and here's the unless, here's the kind of hesitance. We could be getting ready to go into a mad altcoin season. And if that's the case, then this may have found the bottom and this is going to get ready to rock it up. So that's what you need to keep in mind. Now, I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen. I personally think, and it's just my opinion, I've been wrong about plenty of things before and I'll be wrong about plenty more things. I'm not a Nostradamus, not a you know fortune teller or anything like that. I just think Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to run first and then the altcoins will follow. But I could be completely wrong. And again, either way, I'm prepared. But buying ADA at the moment in BTC terms, it's quite high. So the risk is quite substantial but it's not to say that this can't go the other way and then again try and set a new all-time high so really the it's the risk to rewards almost about 50 50 at the moment 50 percent to the downside and 50 percent to the upside you know thereabouts it's a very rough sort of rudimentary sort of rudimentary sort of guess but hence why i'd just be very careful and Again, it, it, you don't want to look at anything from any one term. You don't just simply want to compare it to Bitcoin and say, well, that's my uh, key guide. Because if we are getting ready, because look, there was a downturn here and then bang, it went up. There was a downturn here and bang, it went up. You know, there was 
lots of downturns that then turn into upturns again downturn here it went up downturn here it went up downturn here it went up so that's what this could be this could just be a downturn in inside a bigger move but you take your thesis based on again how's it performing against the dollar well it looks like it's in a big accumulation phase at the moment and accumulation isn't just flat it's all over the place but staying with a range and then you can see it broke out to the top now it could absolutely break out to the bottom and maybe have to come back down and test some 40 cent levels or something like that but i just get the feeling like it's more likely to stay in here bitcoin starts to get on a run and it'll probably get down to around the bottom of this range maybe even wick to the low side and then it'll start to get dragged up before it then has its next breakout moment that's my thesis all right what about matic one of my favorite again it's broken out nothing sort of too crazy at the moment but again this is this big accumulation phase that i was talking about this is against the dollar and again you could you know get a box and basically put it from sort of here and drag it all the way across the sort of here i may as well go ahead and do it all right let's get a rectangle and we're going to say from sort of here to here and roughly to here now when we do it like that let's have a look so we broke out this could be a little bit of a fake out and actually you could even move this just a little bit higher if you like there we go so at the moment this shows it was a fake out to the top side and now it's broken back in this big accumulation phase and this absolutely could come back down here i'm not saying it's going to it's just something we need to look at but at the moment this is just a big accumulation phase but are we going to break to the upside bullish or are we maybe going to just stay in here and again bitcoin and ethereum go on a run and that will drag these up ever so slightly until they again bitcoin and ethereum get you know kind of oversold as they say get to points where there's just not enough money going back into them and then all of a sudden the altcoins start to fire if history plays out how's matic doing against ethereum though again we can see it's quite high at the moment so dollar wise it looks like a really good buy against ethereum doesn't look so good but that's not to say again if we go into some big crazy alt season that this can't you know fire off but basically it's not too far away from all-time highs against ethereum so dollar wise again looks like a really good buy in an accumulation phase uh, against ethereum not looking so good so again it's probably likely that ethereum and bitcoin start to fire and these drop down not in dollar terms just against ethereum and bitcoin and then eventually they'll probably get down to somewhere around about sort of in between here and start to fire up it when we have that next altcoin season whenever that may be because have a look at it against bitcoin something very very similar it's near all-time highs against bitcoin so again dollar value not looking so bad but against bitcoin and ethereum quite high and a number of altcoins are looking like this and so you need to take in that whole sort of perspective yes you can buy it for you know matic at two dollars something and it may stay around those two dollars something for quite some time but bitcoin and ethereum start to pump and that just means that you would have been better putting your money into bitcoin and ethereum unless you're planning on holding long term and things like that so for me against bitcoin and ethereum matic is not looking so great on the dollar value though it does look like it's in a very big accumulation phase at the moment and if we go back to matic we've seen this before big accumulation phase i mean this went on for ages and then boom but when you see this what was bitcoin and ethereum doing they were moving up so again that's what i believe could be happening right now that we're in a big accumulation phase but because it's so high against bitcoin and ethereum i think it's the chances are reasonable that bitcoin and ethereum are going to run before the altcoins do but again you do you you make your own mind up that's just what i'm looking at all right secret network one of my favorite coins here it is against the dollar so sorry i'll wind this out so here's the general path that's been following like it's been bouncing around here and again you can move these you know this doesn't have to be exactly like that you can say oh no i think that's uh, more the line where it's been following or some people might want to move it like that and say no i think that's the line uh, it's been following i just try and find somewhere that's roughly in the middle that's got a lot of touch points so i'm going around about here this seems like a lot of touch points and obvious touch points again look at that 
look at that turned into obvious touch points, you know, obvious sort of bounces. So for me, S, uh, uh, Secret Network, sorry, struggling with my English again, it looks like it's undervalued at the moment against the dollar. So it might not be a bad buy. But again, do we want to just go based on the dollar or do we want to compare it to Ethereum uh, and Bitcoin, the, obvious, the big dogs? All right. Secret Network against Ethereum seems quite high at the moment. Here's the floor price. Now this may be an anomaly and this may be kind of the real floor price because other than you know this sort of thing here, but it seems quite high. So again, a number of these altcoins are looking like this. The dollar value looking sweet, like they're in an accumulation phase, but they're still quite high against Ethereum and Bitcoin, which makes me think Bitcoin is most likely going to pump uh, and Ethereum will pump, that will bring these back down to levels around about here, maybe even down here. But again, down here is probably going to be more bear market territory or down here. So we'll have to wait and see. But this, again, if we go on into some big mad altcoin season, this could be just getting ready to soar up like that. What about against Bitcoin? Secret network. It's not looking so bad against Bitcoin. Doesn't look as good against Ethereum, still quite high. But on Bitcoin terms, it, it's still, you know, it's not looking great. I'd rather be buying it down around about here. But because it's up so high, we just need to ask ourselves, is this something like this about to play out where it's going to come back down to here? This is just a smaller one before we get a big altcoin sort of season and then, you know, break out. Or is this something sort of like this before it's getting ready to pump up? and not dump so much after that, but you know what I mean. That's what I'm looking at. So secret network on the dollar, looks like it might be a big good buy, undervalued, but considering how high some of these altcoins are against Bitcoin and Ethereum, maybe they're gonna be the better buyers because they're more likely, not guaranteed, to pump first, which will bring these down in their value against Bitcoin and Ethereum, but, but then they start to pump and that's where you make all the crazy gains. All right, Luna which has been doing extremely well. Again, here's the sort of average price. And again, you're just putting a line sort of roughly through the middle where there's some obvious touch points, obvious touch point, obvious touch point, obvious touch point. You know, we've got some obvious touch points here, a little bit of a fake out. So at the moment, Luna on the dollar looks like it's slightly overpriced, just not fair, fair value. Fair value is going to be around about this mark. So really fair value around about now for... Terra Luna says it should be around about sort of $71 and it's nearly $90. But it can be way over that. How's it performing against Ethereum? Way outperforming Ethereum. But it has been almost since its inception. It's been doing extremely well. So there's no guarantee that these coins have to come back down. You've got to remember, Bitcoin, it's kind of the most stable of the cryptocurrencies. Still super volatile but it doesn't pump as much. And guess what? Ethereum pumps more than Bitcoin, but guess what Ethereum doesn't pump as much as? Other good altcoins. The lower down the sort of rankings you go, if your coin's going to do well, the gains are going to be exponential on sort of the ones above them. So Ethereum has had some amazing gains over 2021. I mean, have a look at things like, you know, and I don't I don't hold any Shiba Inu or anything, but how Shiba Inu did. I mean, look at the gaming tokens. So that's why you need to remember that they don't have to come back down here, but I just think it's likely that they probably are going to come back down at some stage. But no guarantees. They may just completely outplay Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, until this entire bull runs over. Maybe we're in a super cycle. Who knows? How's Luna doing against Bitcoin? Because against Ethereum, it's killing Ethereum. Same thing against Bitcoin. It's absolutely killing Bitcoin. And again, I'm not saying it has to come back down. I'm just saying I get the feeling like it's more likely that something like that's going to happen. Bitcoin and Ethereum will go on a bit of a run, bring all these uh, altcoin numbers down against those pairings. I think your dollar values will still generally be all right, uh, maybe even rise a little. Uh, and then again, we get into that next phase where just there's no more sort of enthusiasm for the big guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then that money starts to flow into the smaller coins. And that's where you get the even bigger exponential gains. All right, Engine, one of my favorite coins. Look at this, accumulation, pump, accumulation, pump. It looks like we are in more accumulation at the moment. And we can just drag this out. And look, you can even raise this up a little bit if you want. This doesn't have to be exact. This is just showing you 
that it is in a range at the moment and it's sitting right on its fair value price at the moment. So Engine, on the dollar terms, looking like it could be a good buy. Against Ethereum, not so much. It's still quite high. So again, now the risk is you're probably gonna come, you could definitely come down here. And the upside, there's still some upside. And if again, we go into a big massive altcoin season, then there's still plenty of upside, but the risk is also there again. That's what you've got to consider because you go to have a look at Bitcoin, we're looking at something similar. Engine versus Bitcoin is it's right up there at the moment. Hence why I'm just saying be careful. But again, if we, we go into an altcoin season, then this is more than likely simply going to go up. But usually Bitcoin and Ethereum's been doing something similar. They usually start to claw back these gains after a while before these coins then start to move up and set new all-time highs. Because that's what we need to remember. Not too long ago, Ethereum set a new all-time high against Bitcoin, literally not that long ago, on the 27th of November, a month and a bit ago. Uh, against Ethereum, it did the same thing just back in April. So only, uh, not a few months ago, but you know, within the last year. So are we gonna see more upside or are we going to see more downside against those? I don't know. Right, last but not least, and tomorrow I'll follow up with the other coins. I just couldn't fit them all in. Look at this, big accumulation against the dollar. Big sort of accumulation against the dollar. Now we have some more big accumulation against the dollar. And Solana at the moment is looking like it is a very good buy against the dollar. Again, you can move these lines around. These lines don't have to be exactly where I've got them. Maybe you're gonna say, no, nah, this needs to be moved down here. We get more touches or some people are gonna say, no, nah, this is where we get the most touches here, there. For me, I just go round about halfway through the middle where I can see some sort of obvious touch points and we can sort of go thereabouts. And again, mine was more down here. This is where I had it. So it looks like it's around about fair value, maybe a little bit under fair value versus the dollar. But how's Solana going against Ethereum? It's quite high. So this is what then makes me think, all right, where am I more likely to get gains at the moment? Is it a good chance that Ethereum and Bitcoin will start to pump and bring back some of that uh, liquidity? Yes, but is that guaranteed? No, because we go to Bitcoin and it's a very similar thing, Solana has way outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum, but now it's just an arranging motion. Will it range and come down or will it range and go up? You need to make up your mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to 2022. If you're finally there, if it's New Year's Eve, wherever you are, then, you know, happy New Year's Eve. And by the time I talk to you tomorrow, talk to you tomorrow i'm sure it will be 2022 for you that's just a quick update and like i said i'll do the other half of my uh sort of holdings tomorrow and show you exactly what my thoughts are because some coins are looking quite good against bitcoin and ethereum and again others not so good but a majority of the coins on their dollar value are looking quite nice stay safe be kind to one another pretty hard to be on that game train when most things are still going down and I'll see you next time.